Express Card 3000, Installation and Setup. Before we get started, the most effective way to ensure a smooth installation is to consider these factors before receiving the device. Express Card 3000 must be installed on a flat, level surface capable of supporting the weight of the device plus the weight of a person leaning against it. Make sure Express Card 3000's placement during normal operation provides the physical clearances needed to allow adequate cooling and keeps the rear cables from crushing. The position during maintenance and insertion of consumables will also need proper physical clearance, allowing for operators to perform maintenance. Physical placement should also allow the attaching of Express Card 3000 to a secure fixed point. There are two options available. The base of the device can be directly bolted to the surface beneath it. The security anchor on the rear of the device can be attached to a security cable or chain. Before removing the Express Card 3000 from its shipping container, inspect the device for any possible damage and have your installation location ready to safely deliver the Express Card 3000. If either of the tilt watch sensors on the shipping package is red or if damage is visible, take photographs and contact your sales representative. With a partner, stand on either side of the box facing the handles. Hook a finger into the outer cardboard layer of the handle and lift it slowly but firmly until the top shell is completely separated. Remove the packing foam of the Express Card 3000 shipping container and open the Express Card 3000's anti-static bag exposing the device. Enclosed you will find the accessories kit box. We will review this later. Bending at the knees and not the waist, reach down and grasp either side of the Express Card 3000 and lift the device from the container to its installation location, which must be capable of supporting 85 pounds. Remember, if the device is placed against a wall, there should be at least 8 inches of space between the wall and the back of the device to allow ample room for the exhaust fans and access to the cables. You will also need room to access the seven removable card hoppers located on the right side of the device. An Ethernet jack should be available within 10 to 12 feet to make sure the physical cable path is secured from unauthorized access. Before connecting any cables, open the top cover by inserting and turning the key, grasping the top handles, and lifting up. Carefully remove the yellow beaded tie that secures the XY transport by snapping the thread toward the larger hole and sliding it out, or simply by cutting it. Do the same for the yellow beaded tie securing the hopper transport. It is easier to remove two of the hoppers in order to access the beaded ties. Remove them by pressing down the release button and set aside. Now you can easily remove the yellow beaded ties, securing the hopper transport. Before getting started using your Express Card 3000, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with the major components. On the front is the touch screen. You'll use this to create cards, switch card hoppers, and sometimes to do maintenance and configuration. The power button on the front right turns Express Card 3000 on and off. The slot above it is the manual feed slot. When a card is created, it will exit the card output bin just below the touch screen. The back of the Express Card 3000 has the security anchor, the Ethernet data port, the power connector, the product serial number, and the product ID tag. The following items should be included in Express Card 3000 accessory kit AC power cord, card weights. There are seven individually packaged weights. Alcohol wipes. 
Blank white cardstock. Touch screen stylus. Quick installation guide. Alcohol cleaning cards. Sample cards. Tubular keys. Image print head cleaning pen. Rear indent cartridge. Product manual. Adhesive cleaning cards. In the video about features and components, we cover major components, but we'll highlight these briefly. The hopper module, which consists of the hopper deck, hopper transport, and seven hoppers that can be removed individually and each filled with its own type of cardstock. It carries cards from the hoppers to the image printer. The image printer module. The XY transport module, which carries cards from the image printer to the embosser. The embosser module which also incorporates the rear indent module. The exit transport module, which carries cards from the embosser to the card rejection bin or the tipper. These six components work together to print cards, putting ready to use personalized cards in the hands of card holders on the spot. Now that you've installed the ExpressCard 3000, the next step is to load all your consumables, including rear indent cartridge for the embosser, the tipper foil roll, the printer ribbon, and cardstock.